well, a day after win on Saturday, that's for, for one. You know, I remember this is kind of quite ironic because Alex Ferguson was in the same, was in the same position in 1990. We weren't doing well in the league. Um, and we had, to, we had to win a trophy every year. And we won the FA Cup that year. You know, whether, if we hadn't won the FA Cup, would he still be there? I don't know. But the year after then, we, just, we won the Cup Winners' Cup. And then we won the League Cup, and then we, then we won the league. So there was a process of, you have to keep winning things at Manchester United. So whether Woodward thinks, well, listen, yes, we've won the, the FA Cup, but Manchester United has to be in the Champions League. They have to be, because it's Manchester United. And the fact that they're not means that Edward Woodward has to make a decision on whether he keeps Van Gaal. I, I think winning the FA Cup might give him a bit more time. I hope it does because I don't. I don't want Mate now to get into the situation when they keep second managers. You know, Morsi didn't really get a chance the year before. Van Gaal's coming now. Yeah, admittedly he spent a lot of money. Someone wrong. Someone the wrong players. Uh, and, he, and he learned from that because as much as he's managed Ajax and Barcelona, great, great, great clubs. You know, there's nothing like Manchester United. It's just nothing. Like, it's so completely different. And 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 he's learnt that. And he learns that you're going to get criticised. You know, if things go wrong. You know, from all corners of the press, and he's got to deal with that. Uh, but doesn't mean you have to sack him. And you know, we want longevity at a club like Man United. We don't want to keep sacking, or they don't want to keep sacking their managers all the time. So, for me, you know, I'd like to see Van Gaal there, there next season. I think the 21st century now, especially in football, I think we we've got this short kind of thinking mentality that if things don't go well the first year, then he's got to go, or if someone doesn't well. You do earn six months as a manager that they, they've got to get rid of them. That's the mentality they want to seem to be pushing forward. Um, but you can't you can't do that. You know, if you want success, you've got to have some longevity in in your manager. You've got to believe in him. Yeah, that they make mistakes. Yeah, you know they haven't qualified for the Champions League. But as long as you learn from that as a manager and, and improve next season. Now, if you're talking about next season, we're sitting here next season having the same conversation, and he spent another hundred million on whatever it is, then maybe it's, I'll be giving you a different answer. But because the fact that, yeah, everybody thinks he's going to be sacked. They've been talking about it for the last four or five months. It doesn't help the club. You know, Mate United should, you know, should deal with things internally, not externally. Um, and that's all it's been. Is Van Gaal going to go X, Y and Z, which doesn't help. Um, but it is what it is. That's football, today's football. Um, if they lose to Palace, you know, they'll be probably more calling for his head. Edward Wood has to make that decision. He has to be brave enough to think, well, is there a future? you know, with this man and hopefully that would be the answer. Yes, yes would be the answer.